Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can change the dimension in a chart dynamically. So this can be very useful in those ad hoc reporting scenario where you want to give the control to your end user about uh, what dimension they want to choose. Let's say they have an uh, interest of five or six dimensions or three or four dimension depends on how big of the how big the interest is but the whole idea is that uh, you are giving them the power that they can change the dimension dynamically rather than you creating a fixed chart for them to view it all right and before i move ahead just a quick information that this sheet uh, which is a google sheet is where i'm keeping all of my power bi videos so the link of this sheet is present in the description and uh, with this link you can come over here search any of my power bi video and using the youtube link present in the column b you can jump over there also you know you can see i have these tabs like feature explainer exercise where i have kept some exercises as well from uh, from uh, you know power bi related sites i think this is yeah workout wednesday site where exercises are given so this is something which I have kept it so you can use it uh, by accessing this very easily rather than searching on the YouTube which can be cumbersome. All right so let's go ahead and see how to change dimension dynamically in the chart. All right so here we are in this uh, simple chart and if you see I have some filters or I can say dimension uh, dynamic dimension filter which is if I'm choosing category it is showing you technology furniture office supplies if I'm choosing subcategory it is showing you the subcategory or if i am choosing segment then it is showing you the segment right so how we can enable this is let's say i am deleting this and this is one of the functionality which will be created so let me delete this uh, to recreate it for you all right so first thing first is we need to enable one feature which is uh, parameters so field parameters so you need to go into option and settings here is the option and within that you will have the preview features and over here this field parameter is something you need to enable right and uh, right now just for your information i am using the version 2.108 which is released in august 2022 so that means the latest one so it, this is a preview feature right once it is enabled it will ask you to restart the power bi once you will restart it you need to go into the modeling and over here you need to come over here new parameter and now you this one is the default one which is already available but field will now be present so it is basically a field parameter and what it is saying is you can add a parameter to visual and x expression so people can use slicers to adjust inputs and different outcomes right so field parameter here you can give a parameter so i will let's say give dim parameter or dimension parameter and here i can choose what dimension i want to change dynamically so let's say i choose category i go down i have segment subcategory let's say these are the three one and i create this right so here is this here is basically the uh, a simple tax that is being written which is it's not a tax actually it's a new column related value which has been created so over here if you will see there is a new field which is dim parameter is created and over here you will see that dim parameter this is the value and this is what the dimension parameter value which has been created right so if i pull this up right so by default it is present as a slicer as you can see right and uh, over here uh, this is a visualization and on x-axis i was choosing some other name earlier but from now i will bring in this so you will see that you have technology furniture and office supplies uh, which is a default that is your category if i choose segment it will change it to segment and if i choose subcategory it will choose the subcategory so that's what I mainly wanted to show you how you can change the dimension very easily dynamically by enabling the this preview feature and hopefully this will be fixed as a permanent feature but until then you need to make sure that you are going in 
into those preview features and enabling it and doing this configuration which is quite easy like going into the modeling picking up the parameter and then you know give by giving the parameter name then choosing the field what you want to show in the chart and then a slicer will be created for you dynamically after that in the chart you need to bring in the x-axis just so that i summarize you what what we have done in last four or five minutes all right so that's about it and i'll meet you in a new video with a new topic